I invited him, or he invited himself to one of my volleyball games, and the rest is history. For those wives and uh, who are debating, do should I go with my husband or not go with their husband? Uh, I'm all for going, uh, so that you won't ever regret not having that time together. Welcome to another edition of Off the Hardwood. I'm your host, Paul Jones, and today we sit down with the Curry clan, all of them. We're all here. Dell's coach at the time, an assistant coach, uh, had scouted me out for him and did some little matchmaking, and uh, I invited him, or he invited himself to one of my volleyball games, and the rest is history. With three children, um, and I know a mom's work is never done, <laughs> how difficult has it been moving, going from place to place, from Cleveland to Charlotte, out in Utah. How difficult has it been for you? Actually, I think because we were so young when it happened, uh, I actually spent probably about two or three months in Utah with Dell, his second year before he got traded to Cleveland. So um, that was an experience for me because one night he's there and he gets a call at home. We're sitting there in the evening. Next thing you know, he's heading off the next morning to uh, from Utah to Cleveland, and I'm going, what about me? <laughs> so uh, that was, I learned quickly uh, the, how things operate um, on this level. So from there, um, going to Cleveland, I was pregnant with Stefan at the time, and he was born actually in uh, Akron, Ohio. Uh, and then it, at the, he was born in March, and then in the spring we moved uh, home because he got traded to, uh, picked up uh, by Charlotte. So. Um, for me, it's just been packing up and going. Um, it really hasn't been that much of, a, of an issue for us at all. One of the things that we have done in the past is we have um, put off being with him when he's been moved uh, because the children were engaged in activities and everything. And if I had to do it all over again, um, I would put my family first um, because you, there's always times for activities and you can always find different places to put your children in activities and you can all also look at it from a positive aspect, aspect is that the children will be exposed to a variety of different people and lifestyles as well but uh, you lose time being together as a family and one of the reasons why we made the choice this year is because as they've gotten older um, they miss being with their father so uh, for those wives and uh, who are debating, do should I go with my husband or not go with their husband? Uh, I'm all for going uh, so that you won't ever regret not having that time together. Now you talk about your school before we get to you, Del. What, what, what's involved in that? I must say our school. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, it's a Montessori school. Uh, we have uh, ages 15 months through sixth grade. We have 170 students right now. Uh, and I'm the head of school. Uh, and. This year, I've been truly blessed with a great staff so that I could be here in Toronto and go back once a month and um, really perform my duties there as well. So the three of you, Sadell, Steph, and, and Seth, tell me about homework time at home, knowing how, <laughs> knowing how mom is into school. You, you guys, tell me about homework time at home. Is it, is it tough? Well, there's no slacking. <laughs> <laughs> of course, um, she's always on us about it. and. Um, she expects a, a lot of um, good grades and um, a lot good effort into it. So it's the effort that counts. What about you, Seth? Do you do you, do you try to you ever try to get away with stuff or try to get out of homework here or there? <laughs> yeah, every kid is. <laughs> I'm Paul Jones, and we'll see you next week off the hardwood. Thank you. I <laughs>